Okay, here we have a Listeroid 6.1 GTC engine built into a 5 kilowatt, built with a 5 kilowatt generator. Uh, its output is about 3,500 watts at peak. And I'm just going to go over how to uh, do some pre checks before you ever start your Listeroid engine, just for safety reasons. Uh, first thing, you never want to wear any loose clothing around this machine. And you want to have your wits about you. If you're tired, you should probably stay away from it because there are some inherent dangers with open flywheel engines and uh, rotational equipment. So first thing we're going to do is just take the, the valve cover lid off and make sure our valves have some oil. find that the intake valve will consume some oil and we'll need to oil these valves about every 10 hours of use. You just fill up the cup chamber, you don't overfill it. The exhaust will consume very little oil. Greaser pushes grease through the rocker arms to lubricate them. We just put a dot of oil on each of the push rods. Just going to check to make sure our fuel rack linkage is free flowing. Nothing binds. Sometimes if these engines sit around a long time in a shop, they can get dust on the fuel rack bar and uh, it can cause them to stick. So it's the one thing you want to check without fail every time before you start your engine. This is working nicely. I know it has coolant because I checked it already before I brought it out. And I've checked the oil, which is on this side of the engine over here. The oil is good. I'm just going to make sure our flywheels have a nice ringing sound to them. That's just a pre-start check. If they didn't ring, they could have a crack in them. But if they hold a nice ring, you know the casting is sound and safe. Turn on the fuel. Let's check our belts for tension. She looks good to go. So we've got to lift the exhaust valve. So we can put our exhaust lifter underneath it. And that's going to decrease the compression so we can crank it through without compression, getting up to a high enough speed that we can release that compressor and the engine should fire. And I'll just say now before I start it, sometimes these engines, if you haven't run it for a while but you had put oil in your intake cup, of your intake valve, that oil can sometimes over time leak past it. It can act almost like the engine has more throttle on startup. So as it winds up, you'll see me just stand by it and I might shut the fuel rack off just to keep the engine in check so it doesn't overspeed at all and so it can get rid of that oil that might be in that combustion chamber. Also check my compression change valve just to make sure it's in all the way to the highest compression ratio on startup. 